ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the fossilised reptile that lived with the dinosaurs. But first, the study has revealed how tiny air pollution particles can reach babies in the womb after scientists found soot deposits can cross the placenta to get into organs of foetuses. Researchers from the University of Aberdeen and Hasselt University examined 60 mothers and their babies in Scotland and analysed tissue samples from 36 aborted foetuses. The team found evidence of tiny PM2.5 black carbon particles in umbilical cord blood, which shows that the particles can cross the placenta. Soot particles were present in all mothers and newborns and in the lungs, livers and brains of the aborted foetuses. Next. A former Google advertising boss says he's built an ad and tracking free search engine that's now launching in Britain, France and Germany. Sridhar Ramaswamy, who worked at Google for 16 years, says the aim is not to exploit user data. It's also claimed the new search engine does not send your data to any third-party sites or profiling or personalised ads. There are, of course, many other search engines now claiming to protect user data just in this same way, such as the likes of DuckDuckGo. Scientists say their research shows every one in 4,000 births shows genetic code inserting itself into human cells. The genetic code from our mitochondria, essentially the batteries that power our cells, inserts itself into our human makeup. So we discovered that small chunks of the genetic code inside mitochondria, which are compartments in the cell, these chunks are going from mitochondria into the nuclear genome. And we've measured it for the first time. That's study lead author Professor Patrick Chinnery from the University of Cambridge. The human genetic code, the human DNA, is evolving over time and how it's being shaped by this extra DNA that's coming from the mitochondria. In most instances, this doesn't cause a problem, but we found that it can sometimes cause cancer uh, and other studies have shown that it can also cause rare diseases. The Cambridge team searched for patterns in DNA from over 11,000 families recruited to Genomics England's 100 thousand genomes project more on dna discoveries and ancient dna extracted from skeletons in burial sites across england shows evidence of mass migration from europe and movement of people from as far afield as west africa investigations by scientists at the university of central lancashire into remains of a young girl buried in early 7th century kent shows a 33 percent genetic link to west africa it's part of the largest ancient dna projects in europe involving 460 people who were buried in graves between 280 and 1300 AD, dubbed Updown Girl because her remains were found near Updown Farm in the village of Eastry. Analysis suggests she was aged just 10 or 11 years old when she died and was buried with typical grave goods, a pot, a bone comb, a knife and a spoon. London's Science Museum is taking the leap from its usual focus on fact to the dreamy realm of science fiction. The show Voyage to the Edge of Imagination has been designed by the Oscar-winning studio Framestore. In this exhibition, we wanted to address some of the biggest challenges which are facing our species and our planet. But we wanted to do it with a helpful lens so that visitors could see that science fiction could be used as a tool that people can use to think about the future in constructive and creative ways. That's curator Dr Glyn Morgan. I'm also really excited for visitors to encounter those iconic objects that are throughout the exhibition, whether it's an actual costume worn by Lieutenant Uhura in Star Trek The Motion Picture. The creative studio is behind Blade Runner 2049 and Gravity. Research has revealed links to poor mental health in new mothers with unrealistic representations of body image on Instagram. A study by the University of Sydney examined millions of posts made to the social network by new mums. It found that pictures of postpartum bodies appeared in only 5% of photographs, with posts more usually showing subjects in exercise clothes or swimwear, suggesting a fast bounce back from birth while 33% of poses were classed as objectifying. Researchers also found large amounts of hashtags targeting maternal body image, which they say raises concerns that idealised imagery on Instagram may be detrimental to mental health. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, the prehistoric reptile and a new theory behind the giant's causeway. Why not hit rate and follow? In the meantime... Welcome back. 
Research is suggesting that a fossilised reptile dug up in Scotland lived during the age of the dinosaurs and was closely related to pterosaurs. A small cat-sized creature called Scleromoclus taylori is thought to have roamed Earth between 240 and 210 million years ago. Pterosaurs were one of the first animals to evolve powered flight and the researchers believe that their new find may hold a key place in its evolutionary tree. Paleontologists from Virginia Tech and National Museum Scotland say their findings, published in the journal Nature, could help shed more light on the origins of pterosaurs, with some as large as fighter jets while others were as small as paper planes. The formation events behind Northern Ireland's world-famous Giant's Causeway may have taken just a few days rather than thousands of years. That's according to a new theory. Well-known origin stories for the striking stones include theories ranging from the being built by the mythical giant Finn McCool to more scientific explanations, the most accepted being due to formation by lava. But now Dr Mike Sims, curator of natural sciences at National Museum's NI, is suggesting that lava-filling depressions in a river a valley cooled much faster than previously thought after identifying older layers on both sides of the shore. And finally, it's the latest TikTok craze with users of the social media platform going wild in the aisles for line men and their wives. Drama surrounding line men, those are the operatives who fix electrical wires, has entered the mainstream in the wake of Hurricane Ian's devastating and deadly impact in Florida. Line men have been flocking to the Sunshine State to work, with many travelling away from their homes and their wives. You are up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Leader. From the Evening Standard here in London, Tech and Science Daily is back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.